some days I question if I've just lost my mind. Today is one of those days. I am finishing packing so that I can leave during the pink supermoon, full moon, the April pink supermoon. I'm gonna leave during that to paddle from my home. Heiko Lake, all the way to Cape Hatteras. I've spent many a day studying the maps, building a GPX track, uploading it into my Garmin, assembling my gear. I never know when to start filming these videos. People might find that stuff somewhat interesting, but I don't know, I like to, sometimes when I do something that's bigger, I like to keep it hush-hush, so I didn't film a lot because I'm freaking out a little right now. But let's go through my rig. <laughs> Whee! I am not taking the Cedar Strip Marathon canoe. It wasn't ready. Been busy lately and also I have some bigger outrigger goals and after consulting some fellow coaches, it is decided. I think the outrigger canoe for training purposes is the best bet. I am doing some, like one of the main goals of my trip is some aerobic capacity work. So I will be chugging along. Technique should be pretty good by the end of this. So here's the rig in all her glory. It is the Kahele that Jen used for the Alabama 650. All her stickers are still here. The mileage I'm about to put on it is nothing compared to what Jenna's put on it. <laughs> I'm so nervous, guys. Like, I'm really nervous, but I'm really excited. I'm excited because I think this is going to be a beautiful paddle. Like, it's spring, everything's green, the birds are chirping, the butterflies are fluttering, no hungry animals are waking up. I do have my Grizzly certified bear bag, so I will be locking up all my food at night in a smell-proof baggie. We've got navigational lights if I happen to be out past nighttime. Not really planning on it. I've got my Garmin set up. I've got the 65S. It's got a compass. It's got my maps loaded into it. And uh, it's got the GPS track that I'll be using. Got a solar panel. I can charge my phone and this camera battery for emergencies. I will not be leaving the phone on. Yes, there will be spaces where there is no cellular signal. In my upfront dry baggie, I've got my water filtration system, a rain jacket, food for the day, and personal protective equipment. My NRS Ninja PFD with one of the NRS knives. In here I've got SPF lip balm, my sunscreen stick for my face, my heart rate monitor. As I mentioned, I am doing a lot of aerobic capacity work. It's kind of one of the main points of this trip. And my whistle. We've got the main pack. Just got it tied on with rubbers. In here, I have minimal equipment for patching holes, but it's mostly food, as well as the hammock sleeping bag combo and a couple of emergency dry clothes and or foul weather gear. So I'm packing incredibly light. I, it is a fully self-supported trip, so I will not be receiving help along the way, so I have to pack everything I need on the boat which is a little precarious. I mean, I don't think it's going anywhere. I definitely don't really want to do any challenging rapids. Here's my last navigational light, and I do have on the tiny rudder, anticipating a little bit of shallows here and there. If I do get into rougher water, I have this paddle. For everything I do, I have this uh, dual lock by 3M. Yes, I have put a little bit of dual lock on the back of this paddle. This is my spare paddle. So, I mean, I can pull the dual lock off if I really wanted to, but that prevents this from sliding back and forth. Got the handle tied off on my Yako. And this essentially creates a triangular pack frame so that if I do want more stability at any moment, for flat water paddling and for like long stretches, I want the weight in the pack centered right behind me here. 
which is why I have these removable straps to make it quick. Same with the portage, I can get this off pretty quick, throw the backpack on my back and carry the boat to portage. But if I do have to go through some rough water at any point, I have this is essentially a pack frame. So I can move this from its current location back here and um, I can move the strap to, to aid in cranking it down. That beeping was my Garmin giving me an abnormal high heart rate alert. <laughs> All right, I, I canceled it. That's really funny. Cause you know, like in my videos, I'm usually way more high energy. I'm really trying to, to be mellow right now because just, yeah. Who's <sighs> All right, uh, back to the boat that beeping is stopped now. All right, so yeah, that is a, a way for me to really cinch stuff down pretty tight if I hit some rough water. I've got the, the bungee net, nice tight bungee net, and that way I can like pop my shoes on and off, just throw them in the net, they can dry there. If I wanna set anything that I'm not using that I'm not, you know, worried about losing, things that float, can just sit up here in the tray. And finally, made it around to the front, Yako. I just have some line that I, I cinched up and it's it's on here so that if for any reason, let me tighten it down. If for any reason um, I need line, obviously if I have to tie my boat up at any of my weird camping spots, I can do that. I have a scheduled food drop on Saturday. So I only have five days worth of food here. My remaining five days will be waiting for me at one of my portages. Usually I would probably go through more detail, but let's, uh, I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the day and try to breathe and get excited. I will go into more detail about the gear and everything as we unpackage it, as we use it. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and I think it's gonna be huge just for my mental strength and my, my aerobic capacity, my physical strength. Um, not bringing him with me. On that note, I'll see you guys in Cape Hatteras. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, I'll turn the camera on tomorrow. Like I said, I'm very excited because I think this is gonna be a really fun outdoor adventure. And I just love being outside and I love camping and I love being in nature, being kind of disconnected from technology. Who am I kidding? I absolutely love being disconnected from technology. Bringing this camera is actually gonna be, this is very challenging for me. I would rather not. So why, why bring the camera? I think it's, an exciting story and I think more people should go for backyard adventures. Um, you don't have to sign up for a race. Yeah, you can just get out there and enjoy stuff. Enjoy Mother Nature. The reasons I'm nervous, the reasons I'm not, like the things like holding my excitement back just enough, water quality. Um, I have my MSR water filter. It says like cleans out all the cysts and the chemicals and the yuckies, bacteria, protozoa, virus. And I just, ugh. So the Heiko River's draining Heiko Lake, which is a coal power plant cooling pond and the coal ash has is, is leaking. And so heavy metals though are going to sink to the bottom. They are heavier than water. So as long as I obtain surface water, I shouldn't be drinking too many heavy metals and it's not very turbid right now. There should be enough water. It really rained a lot on Saturday, so I should have enough water in the creeks. I'm not terribly concerned about that. Although a couple of shallow spots and unanticipated portages, I'm nervous about. I'm I anticipate them being reality, but I am nervous about the extent of them. Finally, human interaction. I'm not terribly concerned about the wildlife. I'm going to be in a very remote area where there will be an abundance of wildlife, but I, I grew up kind of camping in woods that aren't like campgrounds, you know? I'm comfortable with wildlife. I'm uncomfortable with human life. Um, any encounters that I don't want, even though I'm technically camping on the river and 
as long as I'm below the high water line, it's legal. I mean, I don't want to wind up on somebody's land. I, there's no buildings even though uh, for most of my route, extraction will be difficult if I need to be retrieved. Yeah, so water quality, shallow spots, and humans, like any just, I don't wanna see any people. I just wanna kinda get from start to finish and see animals and nature and that's it. Like I don't wanna deal with people. Ugh. If I saw people that were like, hey, you camping, what are you doing? Like, and they're super cool, then yeah, I'd be totally stoked on that. Enough babbling. This is video blogging. That's it, okay. I'm gonna put this SD card away and one more time.